want to thank you all for, for joining us at the first uh, Leaders in League conference that the RLPA has run. The main reason we're here is to connect, is to build relationships and that's where our strength comes from. It makes me proud to, to stand here in front of this group of players and when you look around the room, you know, we've got some of the game's best and we've got some of the game's best up and coming. If we invest in our people and we believe in our people and we actually believe that this matters, then everyone can benefit because you're what give people hope. you're talking about leadership today, you realise that being a good leader is just as much about grappling with fear. Because all of a sudden you've got to take on this role where you're in front of the team and you're making all these different decisions and you're the one that everyone's looking to and making mistakes then kind of feels like you're dying, right? Like it's so stressful. So it's kind of in the same way that you go out and, and build a skill set to do what you do on the field, you've got to build a skill set to do what you do as a leader. I reckon James putting it dead on the green here. Five feet from the hole. 500 feet from the hole maybe. Yeah, it's been a really cool vibe so far. Uh, it's been good, I think, coming together, you know, players with all, di all different clubs and uh, coming together, listening, uniting, um, you know, hearing each other's voices and opinions on how we can improve. I think the main aspect for me was to um, sort of lean into the discomfort of having uncomfortable conversations and um, being brave around it because for us women, it's the fear of um, speaking up and being counted and making um, or the organisation accountable for um, looking after us. It's been a great mix of leadership development um, and connection. The players are really getting to know each other and buying in, which has been great. And now on the golf course, a bit of fun, getting to know each other a little bit more and even building our connection with the players is unreal. So it's going great so far. It's a pretty good couple of days so far. The golf today, absolutely awful from us at the moment, but yeah. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> nah. Good, good start to the morning. Um, all the, all the yeah, no. Nah. Oh, sorry, mate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, obviously we're opposing each other on the field, but off the field we want to sort of move forward as one. So it's important for the younger guys coming through to continue on what uh, the people in front of us have left. It's being able to build trust within the within the game, uh, being able to know that there's people there that that, that are willing to listen um, to not just your own issues, but to 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 help you know, young generations build confidence in order to stand up for what, what they think is right. What are you, Turbo, background? Croatian? Serbian, sorry mate. Not known for their golfing, but long-limbed. It's just a jack of all trades. Lining up. Nice, good swing. A lot of good hip movement there. Bit tight on the upper body, obviously coming off a pec injury. There we go! Stop it. He's on the green, dude. Look at that, Serbia's finest. Boom. Oh, he performs. Put it up there. The one thing you want our players to take away is how powerful they are, uh, individually and collectively, in terms of identifying areas within the sport that they can actually have a positive influence over. So we're here to work with them on that basis so that we can increase professional standards, improve the sport and really set it up for the future.